Care coordination is essential in providing high quality, cost effective, and efficient health care, especially for patients with chronic diseases, which according to the Centers for Disease Control, are responsible for 7 of 10 deaths each year and 86% of our nation's health care costs. Sharing information between the patient, health care providers, and organizations is essential for effective care coordination, but has been hampered by our fragmented health care system. The Department of Veterans Affairs and the Veteran Health Administration support 90 million outpatient visits and 700,000 inpatient admissions annually, making care coordination for veterans an especially large concern. The Enterprise Health Information Interoperability Platform Care Coordination Module, also known as eHIP-CCM, simplifies the data gathering process and creation of a discharge care plan, resulting in a computable, fire-based care plan that can be shared between and updated by patients, providers, and organizations. In our demonstration, the user assumes the role of a care coordinator by logging into the eHIP-CCM environment that contains data for a fictitious patient named Zachary Broussard. The care coordinator can review Zach's clinical data or proceed to the discharge care plan creation process using eHIP-CCM. The eHIP platform aggregates and displays interoperable data in formats including HL7 versions 2 and 3, Clinical Document Architecture, or CDA, and FIRE. Clinical documents, observations, medications, and conditions are organized for easy review. Essential information from this record is pulled into the eHIP CCM and utilized in creating the computable discharge care plan. The eHIP CCM utilizes an open source business process modeling platform and begins with searching for and selecting the patient. Each screen contains links to process specific instructions and applicable business process models. After selecting the patient, the system retrieves data from the patient's record. The care coordinator selects the conditions to be addressed in the care plan and adds additional conditions as needed. Based on the patient's conditions, the system retrieves a predetermined set of goals for each condition. These goals are based on clinical practice guidelines and best practices. Several goals are provided for diabetes and post-traumatic stress disorder, which are conditions in the use case. Additional conditions and goals can be added. The process continues as the care coordinator addresses common activities in the care plan. During medication reconciliation, the eHIP-CCM retrieves the list of patients active and on hold medications, including inpatient and outpatient medications. The care coordinator then works with the physicians and care team to address each medication and assigns an action each action is associated with a goal. In this example, the patient's IV antibiotics are continued and associated with the goal of clinical resolution of cellulitis. Then, the proposed care plan status of each medication is updated. This set of rules was created as an example to address gaps in medications based on clinical practice guidelines for diabetes and PTSD. This approach would be augmented by additional medication decision support applications that would address drug interactions and allergies. After all medications and gaps have been addressed, the care coordinator confirms the final list. A similar process allows the care coordinator to add nutrition activities to the discharge care plan. The eHIP CCM now retrieves and displays the patient's existing appointments and referrals. Background rules address any conflicts and gaps, such as appointments that may have occurred during the patient's inpatient admission. The care coordinator can initiate new referrals or update appointments and associate them with a goal. Using FIRE-based workflow capabilities, this component of the discharge process could interface with a future medical appointment scheduling system. Additionally, the care coordinator adds goal-specific education activities to be included in the discharge care plan. In the final step, eHIP CCM displays a comprehensive care plan that's organized by conditions, goals, and activities. A discharge care plan can be long and complex. eHIP CCM provides multiple views of the care plan data and allows the care coordinator to review each category of activity. This unique capability would not be possible 
without the organized process and standardized data models that were implemented in the platform. After final review, the care coordinator accepts the care plan and it's stored in the patient's record. The care plan can then be enacted when the patient is discharged from the hospital. As seen in the XML representation, this care plan can also be shared with the patient's other providers and updated dynamically as activities are completed and new components of the care plan are added. The power of the computable care plan is the ability for any member of the patient's care team to view and update it and be aware of any activities related to the patient's health. Creation of a computable care plan and adoption of FHIR across the health IT ecosystem will pave the way for true care coordination across providers, settings, and organizations to achieve the goal of patient-centered, team-based care.